Are you a photographer or a graphic designer? And are you still using your mouse to edit photos and to create designs? Well, today, guys, I want to talk to you about why I think your mouse may be holding you back and why you should consider making an investment in one of these. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Created by Dex and my name is Dex. Today we're going to be talking about graphic tablets and why I think your mouse is somewhat holding you back. So let me not assume that everyone knows what a graphic tablet is. I know it's 2021 and everybody knows what a tablet is, but I'm not certain that everyone knows what a graphic tablet is. So let me explain. A graphic tablet is very similar to your regular everyday tablet that you'll find in an electronic store. The main difference between your regular tablet and a graphic tablet is that a graphic tablet is mainly designed for drawing. It's used to make illustrations, graphic designs, it's mainly used for art. Another main difference between your standard tablet and a graphic tablet is that your standard tablet typically uses your fingers to navigate the tablet interface, while the graphic tablet uses a pen. And this is what really sets it apart from the mouse and why I think your mouse is actually holding you back. Question, have you ever tried to use your mouse to write your name on the computer or maybe to sign a document? It's extremely difficult, right? One of the major issues with a mouse is that it's not second nature. It's not like using a pen. So the pen really allows you the freedom of movement. There are no restrictions as compared to a mouse. So I'd be using my mouse for years to edit, and I was quite content with it. I was okay, it was fine. But I'd gotten to a phase of my editing in terms of photography and also in terms of my graphic art where my mouse was becoming a little bit restrictive. Especially when I got a little deeper into skin retouching, I started to realize how much my mouse was becoming inadequate. So I started to do a lot of research into what was there on the market that could allow me to be able to have that freedom to be quicker in my edit and also to be more efficient with my edit. Now that's when I found out about graphic tablets and I started to delve deeper and upon making a decision that I wanted to move to a graphic tablet, I purchased this tablet, the Wacom Bamboo. Now I've had this tablet for about 8 or 9 years and it really has changed the way how I edit and has allowed me the freedom to be able to create without much restrictions which were there because of my mouse. A major thing which I noticed changed as compared to using a mouse was that my workflow was much more quicker. One of the great things about graphic tablets is that most of them come with function buttons. I know mine definitely did and I was able to assign different shortcuts for different applications which I would use a tablet in. What this allowed me to do was to remove my hand from the keyboard and only be focused on using the tablet alone. It allowed me the freedom guys to be able to quickly manipulate photos especially when I'm doing skin retouching to be able to remove pimples etc without any fuss or worry. Now I could actually focus on other things rather than having to sit before my computer for the entire day. Another great thing about the graphic tablets guys as compared to your mouse is being able to control the pen pressure and also flow. The pen allows you to control the pressure or the amount of pressure that you want to place on your brushes. Similar to a pencil when you're drawing, when you're shading, you basically control how much of the pencil mark you want to see on the paper. The more pressure you place is the darker the brush is going to be and the lighter you press on the pen is the lighter that the shading will be. So really, you are in complete control here, guys. As compared to your mouse, you're able to now manipulate images, etc. as all you want to. As with every electronic device, there's always some amount of learning curve. I can tell you, when I just got my graphic tablet, I took a while to be able to understand how to use it properly. Now, most graphic tablets that I know of have a very slick surface. So basically you're drawing on a slick surface and it can be a little bit difficult at the outset. One thing I did learn though, based on research and which really helped me to be able to get more accustomed to this tablet much quicker, was that you could place a piece of paper over the tablet and use that as your surface to draw on. After using it for about say three weeks like that, I was now able to manipulate the tablet a little bit better. And soon after that, my workflow started to completely change. I really saw drastic differences in how I was working and also how quickly I could get most of my tasks completed. 
Another thing which was a little bit challenging for me initially was getting accustomed to the different shortcuts that were predefined from factory. I'd recommend that when you get your tablet and you're setting it up that you adjust these to suit your overall need. Ensure the tablet suits you and you're able to be as comfortable as you can with it. My main reason at the time for purchasing this particular tablet was one, the cost, but also my main thing was I saw that Wacom was the industry leader in terms of graphic tablets. They also had a very good community around their tablets and I could ask a bunch of questions if I really wanted to understand something. So what are the alternate options to Wacom? Well, there's Huon, there's Xpen, there's Garmin. Those are a few that I would recommend as brands that you could probably look into. Now these other manufacturers that I've mentioned are really good tablet manufacturers. They may not be at the level of Wacom, who's the industry leader, However, they produce really nice tablets at a reasonable price. You may want to check them out. Now guys, are you now convinced like I was that your mouse is holding you back? Do you want to make an attempt to make a switch to a graphic tablet? Or maybe you have a few more questions. Please feel free to leave a comment and let's talk a little bit more about it. Also guys, if you enjoy the content, please leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can be notified of my next video. Again, I want to thank you for watching Created by Dex and I'll see you in the next one.